Heartland series. It's a good two-legged dog story. Their service and sacrifice. Thanks for watching and have a good night. And finally, this Saturday, the Vols will face the East Tennessee State University Buccaneers. ETSU is in Johnson City, about 108 miles or an hour, 40 minute car ride from Knoxville. And choosing who to cheer for isn't a simple question for many East Tennessee families. 22 players on the ETSU football roster are from the greater Knoxville area. So we want to know who you would cheer for this weekend. Get your phones out and pick either the Vols or the Bucks. And while you vote, 10 News reporter Grant Robinson spoke with one Vol grad who said this Saturday she's wearing blue. Like countless boys who grew up in big orange country, Austin Rowan dreamed of playing football in Neyland Stadium. On Saturday, that dream will come true, but he'll be wearing gold and blue. It just so happened that he ended up on the other side, so... But it's a great opportunity. He's still going to be out there with all those cheering fans, and uh, there will be a few in Orange who love him as well. Both of Rowan's parents graduated from UT. He graduated from Knoxville Catholic and is now a junior at ETSU. Every other week, his parents are big Vols fans. But having a son on the other side of the line of scrimmage is a game changer. We always love to see UT play well when UT is playing anyone but ETSU. So, um, it, We'd love to see an upset this particular week. Rowan's family isn't the only one sailing in this pirate ship. 21 other players on the ETSU squad called Knoxville or a nearby town home. For the Buccaneers, Saturday's game against UT is the only matchup against an FBS opponent. And regardless of the outcome, it's certain to be memorable for families with deep ties to both teams. I am getting a little more nervous as the week goes on because it's a big game. I mean, it's huge. It's the, it'll be the biggest game of the year for us and for our family, that's for sure. In West Knox County, Grant Robinson, 10 News. And on our website, you can read more about the other Knoxville area athletes playing for ETSU. That's all at WBIR.com. Pretty awesome that they get to spend some time in Neyland as well. Many of you have shared on our Facebook page how you or your child did attend UT, but someone else in your family went to ETSU. Some say you'll be sporting both colors this Saturday, dividing your outfit. Either way, one of your teams will win. That's the good news. Yeah, the, the Vols will face ETSU for its home opener this Saturday. Game starts at 4 Neyland Stadium. If you can't make it to the game, you can watch it on the SEC Network. Now, the Vol Walk will start at 145. That's at the Torchbearer Plaza on Volunteer Boulevard. And do not forget about the UT bag policy. You can find information about it on our website, WBIR. Orange and white showing up for this vote and no doubt will in Neyland for the home opener on Saturday. But as she mentioned, going to be great for these local athletes at mm -hmm. ETSU yeah. to be able to play inside Neyland. That's a big deal. It is.